so I thought I would stop by. Anyway, well, it's not the greatest day. It doesn't help. So, uh, what's on your mind? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I know that can be tough. At least I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. I know. People say some awful things sometimes. And they treat them even worse other times. Like it's just a sad world. Well, what I like to try and do is I try and look at all the things that I am grateful to have, um, that are the things that are going on right now, and um, another thing actually that I like to do is that always keep in mind having a bad day is that it's it is that it's a bad day so that day eventually will come to an end and then you'll have a fresh new day to start yeah i know it's hard to think of the positives in those moments for sure well writing them down can always help too the brain without actually having to bring it back, you know. I know you said you used to find these taps a little relaxing, so. to do today or something to look forward to yeah exactly something to always look up to so I've got any ideas that these things that you would specifically want to do
you just get it? Oh, you didn't. Wow, on sale. Very nice. Well, you definitely found a good one. <laughs> yeah, sorry to interrupt your thinking there. Um, well, we could always do some kind of a movie marathon or a TV show marathon of some sort. What do you think about that? Okay, yeah, absolutely, for sure. Well, in other words, what do you think would make you feel a little more excited for today? Mm -hmm. We all get in moods like that, absolutely, no worries. We're just trying to think on a normal day what you would what you would normally be looking forward to. a little. That's what I like to hear. Either way though, um, I tend to like to look forward to the next meal I'm going to have. Um, because the anticipation of something delicious is always nice. Um, watching your favorite show, even if you've seen it a thousand times, even though 
that's familiar or watching something brand new as well always works because um, it takes your mind right out of it and you don't really think right now me um well i'm watching the nanny right now because i've never actually seen through the whole series and i tend to pop that in when i'm not having the greatest day because it usually some somewhat cheers me up Anxiety can get the best of us, for sure. I can feel alone sometimes, yeah, but I also just like to think of alone time as not something that's absolutely needed. Well, no, alone time is good every once in a while, but when you're just by yourself for a little while, just because you're, maybe you're not talking to your friend at the moment, or maybe you had a falling out with, you know, the person you were seeing, or anything like that. I try and focus on the things that I would like, and I know it's hard uh, to do that for the most part, but when going in to a friendship or a relationship or anything like that, I usually find that... People just, they take the reins, if that makes sense. They take control, and not not them specifically, but in your mind, it, they have all the power. Like, you are looking to them like, you know, they're going to fill up all your time. Uh, they're going to fill up all that loneliness, you know, everything that you could possibly think of. But we kind of lose ourselves when we get swept up in all that. And I know I've done that 100%. And when trying to not think about specifically what I would do if that person was here or if I was with someone else or with a friend or whatever, I tend to think of something that I used to really enjoy. For example, um, dancing in my room alone was one. That's why it was one of the ones I suggested to you. Um, that's something that from a young age, that and singing at the same time is just, it just takes me out of this world. And I really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So that's my point. It's just finding something that you were passionate about before you know, that person came into your life or those group of friends came into your life. They are just, just a fixture. And in the end, we're all just trying to live our lives and not be bored. And I think that's the biggest fear everyone has is being bored and I totally get it. <laughs> I was feeling it just yesterday myself. good hobbies usually come in extra handy. It's because then it keeps you from being bored. And I know this sounds weird because some people don't like to do actual chores or doing anything while they're bored. Um, but I like to do my room up and re 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 reorganize my room and whatnot. And, or take a spare room that you you have or a basement or something anything that you've got and just turn it into an oasis which I've done on many occasions to try and escape the boredom and it does surround you I know but you know what no matter what you've got me so you'll never have to worry about that and even if we have a falling out you can always message me call me or just come over and, you know, I'll be there for you. Oh, good. I'm glad. Okay, well. I'm gonna go get some popcorn ready then. Because while we decide, we're gonna need a snack. 
and that's usually the best one. True. So how about you think of some of those ideas that I was talking about and maybe come up with something or a night in, night out. I'm up for anything to be honest. So anything that would make you feel a little bit better, okay? See you in a few minutes.